Hello everyone and welcome back to Design Technology. Uh, for this project we're going to be look at technical drawing techniques and I'm going to be showing you a number of different technical drawing techniques that you can carry out. And if you have a look at this uh, front slide we've got an example of four different drawing techniques. Hopefully you recognise some of these. If you go through to the next slide what we're going to be starting the project with this week is looking at the technical drawing technique one point perspective and I'm going to be showing you how you can create a one point perspective drawing. So over to task one I've got an example of two different drawing techniques here. I want you to write down for me what you think a technical drawing is and how a technical drawing is used by designers and engineers. So look at those two examples. You can also look at the, uh, the additional two examples on the front cover and just write down in your own words what you think a technical drawing technique is and how it's used by designers and engineers. Just once you've done that, just under task one, I've got an example more specifically of a one point perspective drawing. This is obviously a, a type of technical drawing and it's a drawing that has a one point perspective when it contains only one vanishing point on the horizon line. And it's a type of perspective that is typically used for images of roads, like my example, uh, and railway tracks. Um, talking a little bit more about the horizon line, if you look at the example there, that horizontal line that I've labelled, that is the horizon line. So if you think back to perhaps when you've been at the beach, if you look out over, over the ocean, the point where the sky meets the ocean, that is known as the horizon line. On my horizon line, in this example, I've got one vanishing point. Uh, and as you can see, this is the point which my 3D cubes um, go towards. Okay, uh, on a two point perspective drawing, which we'll be looking at in the next lesson, you would have two vanishing points, but more on that next lesson. For the next task, we're going to have a go at drawing a one point perspective drawing. Um, I've given you two shapes or two 2D shapes to start with. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do is draw diagonal lines to the vanishing points. So on the first shape, on each shape actually, you've got three diagonal lines which you need to draw to the uh, vanishing point. Once you've done that, you need to draw your parallel lines. So if you can see with the first shape, I'm drawing the two parallel lines. And again, with the second shape, there's two parallel lines. And you can see now it's uh, they've taken, taken shape and they're looking like 3D objects. Um, how far back you put those parallel lines will determine the depth of your of your shape. Um, essentially that's all you need to do for this task. If you do have colouring pencils and you want to render these shapes to make them look, um, make them stand out more, look a bit more realistic, that's absolutely fine. If you don't have coloured pencils, uh, not to worry. So now for the main task really of this um, of this lesson, what I'm going to want you to do is draw your name uh, in the style of one point perspective. Um, this can just be um, a shortened version of your name, um, if you've got a particularly long name, um, or it can just be your initials, that's absolutely fine. Um, the first thing you're going to do, which you can see what I've done, uh, is I've drawn out a name in 2D, uh, in 2D capital letters. Um, and then what I've started doing is like we did before, I've started drawing my diagonal lines to the vanishing point on the horizon line. So if you have a look, all corners or all the corners on the tops of my letters and the bottoms of my letters, I'm drawing to that vanishing uh, point. Uh, I'm being fairly neat here, I'm using a ruler. Um, if you have one, please do use one. If not, don't worry too much. Uh, just try and be quite careful and quite neat uh, when you're drawing it um, freehand. Um, once I've done this, you can see I'm just rubbing out a little bit of a correction there. Um, once you've done this, now like I did before, I'm going to start drawing my 
um, parallel lines. So diagonal lines first, then you do your parallel lines. And again, how far back or I put these in relation to the letters will determine the depth of my 3D letters. So I'm doing the tops of my letters first. And now I'm going to go in uh, and just do some of the sides, make sure um, I'm, I'm not missing any, make sure I'm getting all of these. And you can start to see it's really starting to take shape now um, and looking like a, a 3D, 3D one point perspective version of the name. Um, that's all done. And again, what you can do now is you can render uh, if you've got colored pencils. And what you could also do, you can rub out the guidelines as well. So these are the lines uh, still uh, past my letters, still going to the vanishing point. Um, but again, don't feel like you, you have to. Good luck with this task. I hope you enjoy uh, learning and drawing uh, in one point perspective. Uh, once you've finished, you'll need to take a photo of your work and submit it via Teams. And as per usual, this must be submitted uh, by five o'clock on the day of your lesson. Um, even if it's not completed, just submit the work in progress. Thanks, see you next week.